Hi, it's Lynette here. Thank you for joining. So, um, I've been meaning to record this for ages. It's my empties, but I've just not had a chance. So, um, it's been over a week now that we've had Lola. I've still not done a video. I'll get into doing that soon. She's actually outside just now, waiting for a pee. And um, the antics between her and Poppy are quite funny. So, Poppy, she's just whistling just now, but she loves to shout Lola. And the other day there, she was shouting Lola come and then throwing the stuff off the table. Um, and Lola was running away with all Poppy's toys and chew things. So um, that's been fun and games. But um, yeah, anyway, work has been really busy. And by the time I've got finished, I've just been kind of too tired. But today I've got space in between my meetings so i've actually got time for lunch so i thought i'd just pop on and quickly film this so my empties are massive right um my empties are massive so i'm just gonna crack on i might have to get up and stop at some point but um I'll, poppy the the reason why they are so big is because i think from a previous video to do an update I filmed it about 10 days early so there's like about six weeks in here plus there's two project pans that I've finished that are in here as well so I think that's why so much plus Brandon moved out and was using up all his stuff before he went so anyway I'm going to dive in I'm going to try and be quick I'm going to try and keep my eye on Lola make sure she's not I'm looking like this because she's mastered kind of jumping up into the garden um yeah so anyway she's discovered that Poppy is the boss I'm roasting. I think it's because I've been like trying to run around. I've got a sandwich I'm going to have um, before my next meeting starts. So I just thought, come and film this, have a coffee, have my sandwich, and then um, just crack on the actually reading papers for the next meeting. So anyway, I'm just going to pull them out one by one, and I'll hopefully remember to actually film them for my um, 20, 2022 item declutter video. Add the, I include these. So this is Faith in Nature Lavender and Geranium Conditioner. Um, it doesn't work for my hair, so I gave that to the boys. So Stephen and Brandon have been using this. I just, I initially did like it, but it just does not work for my hair. It's kind of, it's one of these brands that's got no bad things in it, but just the conditioner was just not great for my hair at all. Sensodyne um, Nourish, I got this to try from Influencer. Um, yeah, it's okay, but my teeth are crown, so it's not going to make any difference to the colour, but it should help the sensitivity, because you do get a lot of sensitivity. I hope Poppy's not too distracting, but she's in a good mood. Um, the Rituals Holy Moly Foam and Shower Gel. That's Flamingo Flower and Pink Grapefruit. That's really nice. Um, use that one, my wee treat. <clears throat> so this is one of my favourite products. It's the Curl Company Curl Cream. Um, Whenever that is on latest in beauty, I do pick that up, but <clears throat> I do get through it. I've got really bad allergies, and um, what I forgot about was it took me a while to build up my tolerance to the dogs, and because it's been over a year since I've had a dog, it's just set up my allergies. So I do take an antihistamine every day because I'm allergic to everything. Um, take fexofenadine, which you can now buy over the counter, but I get on prescription. I think I might need that doubled in an up the nose one but at the moment i've bought extra antihistamines i've bought like benadryl and be is it beckonies um i've got eye drops i'm just doing everything um but i'll get used to that again this is one from steve so it's the sure and invincible ice fresh that one's nice but i do prefer the purple one i think um here we go this is my favorite one the um sure the purple one, yep, absolute favourite. So there might be a combination of um, Brandon's and Steve's in there because they both use the same deodorant. This is the Listerine, so this was definitely Brandon's because this is what he uses. I don't tend to use a lot of mouthwash. When you're using mouthwash, check because um, it says for a cleaner, fresher mouth and brush and alone. However, I think we're so conditioned to using mouthwash after toothpaste that actually your mouthwash might rinse off the toothpaste which might have higher levels of fluoride in it. So just check. So I kind of got into the habit of using it before I brushed, um, just in case. And don't rinse your mouth with water when you're brushing it. 
because you, you're brushing, you know, you're rinsing everything off, but that's just something that I always did. Um, I try not to. And this, oh, these are fantastic. I got these from Latest in Beauty. The Happy Naturals Shampoo, sustainably sourced avocado oil, 100% <clears throat> recyclable packaging, vegan, and 97% natural ingredients. This was amazing. Would definitely repurchase that. Well, I didn't. I got it from Latest in Beauty. This was, oh, this was Kiss Kiss by the, um, the Body Cheesecake um, Scrub. But it said like frozen strawberry jam, whipped cream and cranberries with a topping of cornflakes, hazelnuts and a drop of cognac make up this skin brunch. However, you couldn't dig down to do the layers. So I find that the first layer was kind of the scrubby bit, the second layer was the cream and the other layer was kind of like the jam. So trying to get the three of them together was really hard. So in the end, I just ended up with a bit of a, a kind of a body butter and uh, yeah, it was a bit odd, but it was nice. But if you could have mixed it up, it might have been better. Because the kind of the cream part was really firm cream as well. It wasn't cream. It was like firm body kind of oil butter stuff. The Lacura Healthy Glow Rose Toner. I really like this stuff. So calming toner with hyaluronic acid, rose and elderflower. Now I'm going to go and check what puppy's up to. Lola. I may be a minute. So she was just playing out the back. When I opened the door and called her, she comes running through. She does have a wee bit of separation anxiety. So the other day there, she left her in the kitchen, went upstairs, um, wasn't even gone long. Um, so we're kind of working on that. So today I've been working in the kitchen, put her bed in the living room, but left the gate open and it seems to be okay. So what I'm trying to do is go out and just kind of leaving her for a couple of minutes and then coming back in. So she gets the idea that I'm coming back. Anyway, I'm gonna finish this off, it'll be a long video. The um, Rituals um, Body Mist, that was in my panning project. That was really nice. Um, quite sweet, but I like sweet. This was in another panning project, Dr. Organic, Organic Guava Body Wash. Goodness knows how many items are here. I got this from Lynn. Um, she had a couple of bottles of it. It wasn't full, but um, I think it's the, might be Beyonce. Really nice. And whenever I wore it, Steve said he liked it, um, which he never normally does. He normally complains about my perfume. Um, the Hawaiian Tropic Mineral. Oh, dearie me, now that's a parrot. <laughs> that was Poppy, he just flew over onto the blinds. So it's a bit of a madhouse in here some days. So yeah, the Hawaiian Tropic Mineral SPF 30. I just used, I tried to use this on my face a couple of times, but it stayed quite white. So I just used it on my arms. Um, the OK um, Gold Dust Under Eye Masks. I do like using these. And actually, when you go back to being up with a puppy at my age, um, they come in helpful. <laughs> I've used a couple. So the Beauty Pro Retinol Under Eye Patch. This one was great because it stuck to your eyes. So normally I put them on and, you know, they kind of, they can fall off or slide, but that kind of had like sticky stuff, so it was great. Um, definitely get more of those. Um, this was in Project Pan as well, the Body Shop Mango Butter. I was actually really sad to see that. Whoa, smells amazing. So I probably will repurchase more once I've used up what I've got. Um, Sanctuary Spa Heal Balm, Project Pan. Um, kept that by the side of my bed, just reminded me to use it. And actually, it was in my drop ten for summer because I think that heel balm, sandals, it just seemed to make that connection. So this was in a project pan and then I think it was Sally said to me, I'm sure this only lasts six months once it's opened. And I checked the bottom and it did. So um, I've been chatting to Kate, I think it was on one of her videos, I'm just watching Lola there. And she had said that she puts it on her feet if she's got a lot of serum that she needs to use up. And I actually used the rest of this on my feet and it made them feel amazing. Really, would never have thought to put it on my feet if it wasn't for Kate. Um, oh, the Imbue Curl Empowering Cream Gel. Um, I got one of these from Sally and one from Lynn. This was fantastic. It was kind of like a... Kind of almost like a lumpy custardy mixture, but it, it worked really well. The La Cura Pineapple Micro 
Dermal Abrasion Scrub, the pineapple enzyme, can't get my words out. I love this, but I used two back-to-back -back in um, project pans and I just thought that put me off using it for a wee while, so I'm using something different at the moment. Um, the Elemis Pro Collagen Energizer Marine Cleanser. I love the smell of that stuff, it's my favourite. Um, oh, I'll definitely repurchase. I've got a couple of these, but I will repurchase when it comes back in. Body Shop, it's a fragrance mist, but you can use it as a body mist, but you can also use it as a perfume. Kindness in pairs. The smell is gorgeous. And as well, it's glass, which I think is easier to recycle. Or tends to get more recycled than plastic, is what I would believe. Sleepy Body Lotion. Um, there we go. I actually filled this up with another lavendery one. Um, but you keep the tubs, take them back to Lush, you get 50 pence off a of purchase. So I'll be definitely cleaning them out and taking them up. Um, well, normally I put this in my house and cleaning one but it's ended up in here. Pear soap. I love the smell of that stuff. Pears and coal tar. Um, I had this mask kicking around for ages. Sugar and spice self-heating mask. I popped it on because I got into the habit of just using the sheet masks but actually these masks really feel like they're doing something where the other masks I feel they just get serum into you. So that was nice. It was self-heating. Really enjoyed it. Um, this works deep sleep body cocoon. I love that. I put it on my arms. Um, kind of not every night, but some nights it, it's kind of slightly different from the sleepy. The sleepy is kind of oaty, lavendery, where that's kind of more lavendery. But um, it's nice. Of course, if you don't like lavender, you'll hate it. The organic and botanic um, Amazonian berry protecting day moisture. But look, my eyes were bad. So there was a, a day and a night. So I just put day on the side so I knew the difference. I'm laughing at Poppy. So Steve plays with Lola and he goes rah, 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 rah. So she does that too. She goes rah, 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 rah. But um, yeah, like a madhouse sometimes in here. So this was Brandon's. It was Lush Orange Shower Scrub. Um, he actually preferred the one that I got from Superdrug, to be honest with you. The bubblegum lip scrub, that was in a project pan. One of my favourites, but when you put it in a project pan, it'll last forever. The bubble tea, peony and cherry blossom shower gel, that smells lovely. Um, the L'Occitane um, cherry blossom perfume, I got that in a set. Couple of, was it last Christmas or the last Christmas or the year before? Really nice, really sucked. Again, put in a product pan, I wouldn't do that again. I think it's just because you feel like you have to use them. So I just wanted to clear the project pans that I've got, keeping the skin as in because that's a wee bit different. The Qtex non acetone um, also apparently removes UV gel. Don't know if a non acetone could do that okay, but it says it does. Really nice, really gentle on your nails. Um, not any good for removing glue, we discovered that, you actually need the acetone one. Um, this hair mask was in a project pan, it's a Maria Nila one. Um, this uses the Ocean Waste Plastic Pack for their packaging, which is fantastic. Um, it lasted ages, but it was a really nice hair mask. That was in a project pan. Stephen's currently using one at the moment, so I kind of shared that one with him, but that'll be nearly finished soon as well. The Origins Ginseng um, Gel Moisturiser, that's really lovely. I've just noticed it's a wee pool at the bottom there, so I'll probably just use that on the hands. Oh, this is gorgeous. The Rituals, the Ritual of Ayurveda, Ayurveda, I can't speak. Shower oil is really different as shower oil, but it's really nice. You moisturise your skin, but sometimes like you, you feel like it's actually difficult to move around. Um, but I liked that one. It wasn't as difficult as some of them that I've had. Um, ugh, something's something's leaked in here. Um, this is a little anti-wrinkle cream by NIA114. Um, I think it's one of these. Sh the Sanctuary Spa Rose Petal Hydrogel Mask. Um, these were absolutely gorgeous. Probably a lot of masks in here because I have been really good at using them. Sarah Chapman's Genesis. Um, that was lovely as well. The Q&A Squalene Facial Oil. Now, 
I didn't like the smell of this on my face, but I used it on my hair and my body. So if you've got a product like this, hair, body, feet, you know, if you want to use it up. Um, oils, I'm really funny about. Uh, if they smell oily, I know that sounds weird. The Paradox um, Hair Elixir. Now, I really love this product, but it's gone... Um, all covered in my hair it's kind of um gone like it's dried up i don't know if i can put it in hot water actually and um see if it'll come back to life i might try that no surprise another cuddle company um another sarah chapman um oh the iceland um the firm and face gels they were like for your forehead your cheek i've got a big fly that's just come in it's gonna to have to get that out. The this is a Primark um, super hydrating mask. It had a pre mask serum, a mask, and an after mask serum, which is really different. It was nice though. Um, the Vita Liberata Luxury Tan Super Fine Skin Polish. It's a tan preparation and um, product, but I just used it as a body scrub. It was super fine though. But a nice smell. The um, Natura Siberica Face Serum. Um, I love the packaging on this. If you just squeeze it at the bottom and it came out there, and that was nice. Nice brand, that. Um, the Faith in Nature Partner, the shampoo. Again, that was the boys that used that. Did not a fan. Um, VO5 Hairspray. Um, look at the size of it. So it wasn't that expensive at all. A couple of pounds, I think, from Savers or somewhere. Um, bubble tea, vanilla chai tea, bath and shower gel. That was lovely. Had a nice smell. Lola, she's grabbing another toy. Um, look at the packaging on this. Skin Pharmacy Wrinkle Killer Eye Serum. Packaging is gorgeous. So when you press it down, it actually has one of these and it soaks up the product. So that's absolutely gorgeous. Um, there's more of the Skin Iceland that was for smile lines, lines, and they were sticky. You just stuck them on. Um, sure deodorant. I like that stuff. It's nice. Um, I got these from Lynn, the Lacura facial cleansing wipes. I don't use cleansing wipes very often, but they were great for when I just wanted to take my makeup off and then do the rest of my skincare. This lasted ages. Biore Rose Quartz and Charcoal Stress Relief Clay Mask for um, deep perfection, oil free. Um, so I would use this kind of every couple of days. I love the packaging as well. I'd use it every couple of days um, and just let it sit before I went in my shower. The Espa Eucalyptus and Tea Tree Cleaning Hand Spray. That was gorgeous. No, there's none left in it, but that was really nice. Um, Mask of Magnum Inti from Lush. I gave that to Stephen. Um, again, keep that packed in and you can return it and get 50 pence off your shop. Main and tail um, leave-in cream. It's not the best leave-in conditioner, but it's okay. I like it. Um, yes, another little eye patch. Eye mask, whatever. Woohoo! Got some makeup. This is one of my favourite eyeliners, right? Cheap as chips collection, fast stroke. I love the it's the, the brush. I love the brush, and unlike the pens, it doesn't go dry until you actually run out of this. The last ages. So this is brown, which I thought I would try for a change. I don't know if you can actually see. There you go. Rather than black, but I will be picking up more of that. It is my favourite ever eyeliner. Um, another brand I really like is Balance Me, and that's a vitamin C facial serum. Um, I've got sent a few of those. Was it Sally? I think Sally sent me a few of those. I love them. Um, the Rodile Dragon's Blood Cleansing Water. It was about £18. I got it from Latest in Beauty though. Didn't spend £18 on it. However, if you got it anywhere near your eyes, it nipped like you would not believe. Um, I've still got more. I'm still going. The Happy Naturals, the conditioner, fantastic. Would definitely repurchase that, depending on the price, to be honest with you. The um, Body Lotion um, Rebel Fleur by Rihanna. Oh, it smelled absolutely stunning. Really nice. I'm not one for these celebrity perfumes, but that was gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, again, Organic and Botanic. That was the night one. 
and don't see any glasses. The Alpha H Daily Essential Moisturiser SPF 50, that was in my drop temper summer. Really nice, considering it was an SPF 50, it wasn't, didn't go white or chalky, it actually blended in really well. Definitely repurchase that depending on the price. Oh, Smug, this says, um, Lavender Pillow Spray. We go through a lot of these myself and Stephen love them. Um, Balance Me, another Vitamin C Serum. I love that brand. Can you get in bigger sizes? Because it is a nice serum. Um, aha! I finished. Um, finished the knife pencil. I love that eyebrow pencil from Primark. The eyebrow pencils, the thicker ones, are so good. Um, finished the Ted Baker, part of the Project Pan. Um, oh, this was a foot cream with oud and sapphire. Um, again, kept that by the side of my bed and used it kind of almost every night. Um, feathering down, Sweet Dreams pillow spray. Told you we liked the pillow spray. The little Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum. It's so cute, but I don't think I'd pay the price. Um, oh, the Umberto Giannini Miracle Worker Smooth Serum. I love this brand. It's fantastic, and this was really nice. Put it on after putting my curl cream on. Um, the Elizabeth Arden Super Stay Skin Renewal Booster. That was fantastic. Um, great brand. These little fruity scented nail polish remover pads. I ordered some from Amazon. It wasn't because just because I couldn't get the boots ones. They weren't really what I was looking for, but they were good. They did the job. Um, Kindness and Pears Body Shop Hand Cream. The Cherry Bomb by Primark, really nice that little cheap um, hand cream, just again side of my bed, handbag, anywhere I am I've got one. The Biovean um, Hyaluronic Youth Elixir, use that as a serum. Ted Baker Nail Polish, I'm nearly finished honest, and as I just remember in filming all this, the um, Origins, Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask, I use this all the time but this is a little mini one, it's fab. Um, nail Kale finished that one. Um, I think that was in last month's nail polish pan, but I've just popped it in here. The Skin Iceland Eye Gel, so you under your eyes. So you had your eye, your forehead, and your smile lines. Don't think it really worked. I don't know how often you would need to use it, to be honest with you. <laughs> Maybe I'm past it. Um, so, last two items. So, the Dark Blossom by Lidl. That was really nice. Aldi actually, Aldi. Really nice. I like it. I think it was a bit of a dupe for Black Opium and the Oskia Renaissance Mask and Brightening and Resurfacing Mask. Now, if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you'll know that I love that brand, Oskia. So no, that was absolutely lovely. It was a mask, but it was also, it reminded me of a cleansing balm. So you could put it on as a cleansing balm almost rather than a mask but if if you'd washed your face and you still had some makeup on when you put it on it would take it off and it also went milky when you put water with it so a bit like the cleansing product but in a mask and a bit firmer absolutely love that so that's my empties you can see i've been really busy <laughs> but it has been six weeks it has also been stephen and brandon um so yeah my recycling bin's going to be quite full it was just empty yesterday so i should have filmed this before now but hey-ho, there's lots of space in it for this. And um, I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye, guys.